What you making DIYers? It's Walker with DIY.life and in this episode we are going to be taking a look at some hover shoes by Gyroar. Let's go ahead and get it open and get right to this. Now, I discovered these things when I was doing my research for my Gyroar electric skateboard video. If you haven't seen that, check that out up here. I saw these on their website and I was like, what are those? And I reached out to them and I was like, hey, hook me up with a pair of those and I will absolutely do a cool video for you. So here they are. Thank you, Gyroar. Thank you, thank you for sending them out to me. I hope you're not disappointed by what I'm about to do with these. Um, but I gotta say, the first thing I thought of when I saw them was, ooh, I could really hurt myself on those things. And then I thought, but my son would really like them. So I'm thinking Gyroar is marketing these things to a slightly younger group, kids, young adults, because I could see uh, some old guys, old school guys like me really hurting themselves on these things. But we'll. We'll see, it remains to be seen. All right, well, I've got my little certificate of achievement here. This is quite nice. I've never seen anything like this before. It's very fancy. Uh, it's a letter from Gyroar. Congratulations on becoming a member of the Gyroar family. Here's another fabulous year. Hope your day is filled with love and laughter. Thank you for choosing our store among thousands of merchants. And there's some contact information. Oh, that's kind of nice. Makes you feel a little special. That's a good idea, Gyroar, good job. And then we've got user manual. Uh, charging brick. There seems to be some hardware here. I'm sure this is explained in the user manual. I think one of the things you can do with these is you can use them independently. And then I also think you can put some kind of connector bar between them and they'll function more like a hoverboard would function. So if you're used to writing, yeah, and I think that that's what this thing is. If you're used to writing a hoverboard, you can, you can do it in hoverboard mode too. All right, so we'll take the foam off here. Ooh, everything's nicely packaged in plastic and styrofoam and there it is there's uh yeah i don't know if these things are right left probably not they're probably they can probably go on either side but that's it this thing looks like a little mini one wheel and i'm pretty sure that's how it functions which gives me an idea what if you put a little skateboard deck on here and tried to use it as a one wheel? Maybe we'll do that a little bit later in our demo section of this video. Stay tuned. So there's one. There's two. And that's it. End of the end of the unboxing. Well, that was fast. Not that I was expecting a lot of stuff, but there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at these things, they're kind of cool. All right, before I get started, I kinda gotta air out a little grievance that I have with products that are marketed as hoverboards, okay? Um, you know, I'm an 80s kid, and when I think of hoverboard, I think of Back to the Future 2, Michael J. Fox. Hoverboards don't go on water. You know what I'm talking about. Who doesn't, right? So the fact that these things are being marketed as hoverboards or hover shoes, you know, I think it's a little bit of false advertising personally, but kudos to whoever 
on their marketing team decided to call those things hoverboards. That was genius, probably sold 10 times more than, than calling it, you know, rover board or whatever. But um, yeah, I think it's kind of, kind of misleading and I think it actually is borderline, it's not borderline anything. It's straight up false advertising in my opinion. What do you guys think? Are you down with hoverboards calling these things hover or are they straight up lying to us? Let me know in the comments below. All right, examining this unit, I see there's a port on one side here with a little rubber cap. Oh, this is probably where the, um, the bar goes where you can make them, turn them into a hover board. Okay. On the other side, I can see there's a power button and there looks to be what appears to be, yep, there's a charge port right there. So, oh, and this is a nice thing I should probably mention. The power brick has two plugs on it. So there aren't two power bricks, there's one power brick and it's got two heads on it, which is nice, meaning you can charge them both at the exact same time with one plug. That was a good idea. So plug it in there, charge it up, hit this button, power it on. Let's see. Let's see if it has any power. Okay. Whoa, whoa, thing wants to take off. All right, it's upset. And hoverboards do that too when they're not like balanced quite right. Um, I should probably read the manual and see what's going on with this thing. Look at that. Oh man, it just skidded out of my desk. Made uh, skid marks. Yeah, it's very responsive. I don't, it's probably just upset. Let me, um, let me power it down one more time. It's probably low power. It's telling you, it's probably telling me that it's low power mode. All right, well, this one seems to be happy and you just give it a little push this way, a little push that way. And look at that. It seems to be pretty responsive. I, uh, I pushed too hard on it a second ago and I made it skid out and there's like marks on my table now, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. All right, I think that's enough uh, unboxing and playing around with them. I'm gonna read through the manual just to get from myself familiar with uh, you know, how to ride them and what to do. And we'll take these things out, my son and I, and we'll go have some fun with them and see what happens. I'll try not to hurt myself too much. <laughs> Probably wear some protective gear at first just to make sure before I um, go too buck wild. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to try these things out and see what they can do. Stay tuned. We're here out front. I got my son Brighton with me. We're gonna try out the Gyroar. We got it in hoverboard mode right now, so we're gonna start out baby steps, Brighton, baby steps. We're gonna see uh, how this thing works in, in uh, hoverboard mode, and I'll give it a shot, and then we'll take the training wheels off. Go ahead and power the thing up. Got it? All right, you took to that like a duck to water, is the, how the saying goes, I think. Whoa. So pretty standard, <laughs> whoa. Pretty standard hoverboard experience there. Feels like a hoverboard, yeah? Yeah. All right, let me give it a shot. Here, you camera. I am notoriously not not good. That's fine. I'm notoriously not good at hoverboards. I'm super awkward. I don't know. They just don't, they don't agree with me for some reason. But this, yeah, this does feel like a hoverboard. Oh, son of a. <laughs>
All right, now let's uh, let's take this, let's take the training wheels off here. These things have a little a little metal bar that you stick between them, and it works kind of like a air tool. Okay, Brighton, yeah. you be the first. Okay. Oh, getting fancy. Yeah. Oh, whoa. How does that feel? They feel pretty good. They're like, it's different. I don't know. It's different? Yeah. Can you moonwalk? Oh. Whoa, you tipped one. Look at a moonwalk. <laughs> nice, yeah. Now let me try. So to start off, you just, you get them kind of just next to each other like this. Whoa, doesn't like that. It's just gonna keep beeping at me. Here, hold, take the camera. So, same kind of thing. You just step on. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, this thing is tri <laughs> They are trippy, dude. <laughs> Look, it's running away from us. <laughs> this one's already upset. Did you turn this one off? All right, let's try it again. I want to put that left foot in a better floor. Huh. Is that better? Yeah. All right, all right. A little bit better. Try to, ooh, look at this. Oh, wow, you can... That's weird. When you're when one foot starts to go a little too far, mm -hmm. it'll like it kind of like takes off on you. All right, I think after you do this for like a few minutes, you start to get a better sense of it, and it becomes a lot easier. Try turning. Turning. Slow down. All right, hold on. There you go. That's pretty uh, pretty intuitive. The turn. Even though, even though I look like a stiff robot, <laughs> it doesn't look natural at all. But it feels pretty natural. All right, I think I can stop holding my hands all awkwardly now. Whew. Stopping is the trippy part. Okay, let's move on to the next challenge. Uh, the next thing I want to try doing is let's try using these as one wheels. I've got some blank skate decks. We'll throw one on top of each one and see if it works. We got a blank skate deck here. We're gonna throw this thing on top of the uh, gyro shoe and see if it works like a, like a one wheel. Go ahead and try to give it a shot. Or do you wanna hold it for me? I'll hold it there? Yeah. Ready? No, 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 step on the other Yeah, no, that's not working. <laughs> it's not working. That's what I was trying to do with two of them. Here, hold the camera. Let me try it. Here we go. Ready? Oh my god. That's not gonna work. Well, let's try it one more time. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I wrote it for like two seconds. <laughs> All right, that was a little bit better than the first time. Let's try it again. Really? Yeah. You don't want to try two of them? No, the second time. What do you mean, like next to each other? Yeah, next to each other. One on this side, hold that. Put, one of, put that next to it, yeah. Like that? No, no, no. This no, way. no, 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 no. It's got to work this way. Why? That might be a little bit better, more stable. Let's try this. Or it's just going to push down on the middle. Maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, let me try it one more time with just a single. Really? Yeah. 
I can do this. I have the power. I have the touch. You got the touch. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. It's sideways. Oh, yeah. Feel, oh, here we go. One wheel in it. One wheel in it. All day. Can't turn. All right. I'm going to call that success. That was success. All right, before I break my face, let me have the camera. Yes. <sighs> Did it. All right, so we got the hockey gear out. Now, keep in mind, neither, neither of us are hockey players. We are atrocious. I made these sticks for, for Brighton and I back in, uh, what was it, 2008? Uh, oh, 2015. Yeah, sorry. So... I made it out of bamboo plywood. I'll put the link in the description. And then I just got these, uh, that piece from the sporting goods store. They were selling those. All right, so I got the hoverboard. Brighton's got the hover shoes. And we'll say what, first one to five? And all they had at the store were left-handed uh, hockey things. So we're left-handed hockey players. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, why is it bouncing? Oh, you already lost one? I already lost both. Oh, my God. oh, this means I'm going to be able to score. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Yes. All right, we got to reset. One zero. One zero. Oh. Dang it. I, I don't think I can play left-handed. This is so weird. Oh, shoot. Really no. Woo! Right through his legs. Oh, my God. No, it just, you better score. All right, two, two. On the count of, th on, the, on the third tap, ready? One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh. Face off. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> 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 Tuscan Raider. Tuscan oh. Raider. Oh, oh, right in the corner. Nice shot. All right, four, three. 2022. Oh. <sighs> Brighton Hicks coming across the ice. He's juking left. He's juking right. Oh, oh he misses. No, 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 no. We're going to have to do the instant replay. <laughs> I'm going to come in. I'm coming in fast. Yeah. Oh. Dang it! I lost. All right, good game. Good game. As you can see, my son and I had a great time on the gyro, gyro hover shoes. Where are you going? Um, I think these things are more geared towards younger riders. However, um, 
my son is 14 and you know, as per teen decree, he is not allowed to admit that he likes or enjoys anything and he did. So I think that's a big win. If your son or daughter wants a hoverboard, I would definitely consider getting these hover shoes instead. Uh, basically, they're a two-in-one, they're the shoe and they're the hoverboard. And they're actually not that much more difficult than riding a hoverboard. In fact, after five or six minutes of riding on the shoes, I pretty much thought I was riding on a hoverboard. So they're not that much harder, but they're actually a little bit more fun. And I would definitely get these over a hoverboard for sure. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments about these bad boys, leave them below. And we will see you next time. I'm just gonna really run away. He won't run away. Come on, Brim. Baby, come here. Baby, come here. <laughs>